All right, we're going to find uh, the z-score of these um, students in StatCrunch. So we need to open the information in StatCrunch. All right, now that the information is there, we need a couple of things because the z-score needs the uh, value, which is there, the input, the mean, and then the standard deviation. And in the directions, it said treat it as a population. So that's why we're going to use population z-score. Otherwise, you have the sample z-score, basically the same thing, except remember, sample standard deviation, sample mean. Okay, so that's what we need. So let's get the standard deviation and mean, stat, summary stats, column, purse, and then to make things easier, I'm going to deselect some of these things. I don't need this. Now this variance and this standard deviation is the sample. Remember, it returns the sample. So I don't need any of these things. The standard deviation for population is the unadjusted. So that's the one down there that I want. Okay. And then what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to store output in data table. I'm going to click this button because it's actually going to store it here when I do that. So there it is the mean, the unadjusted standard deviation, or population. Okay, now what you can do is you can actually use a calculator and complete this here for each one of them if you'd like. You gotta take 77 minus the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. Now you want to use some decimal place, it's probably out to the four, and you have to do it for each one of those. A little bit of work, but it can be done. Okay, you can also just copy this information now and do it in Excel quickly as well. You know, just do this and then make a function that does this one thing. But we also can do it in here. It's a little different. But so what we have to do is we have to go to data and we have to put in compute expression. Now this is going to pop up here. Now we these are the columns we have and we told them to put the mean and the unadjusted in there so that we can use this. That's why I clicked that box. So remember that's the pulse minus the mean over the standard deviation. So I click this, add it in there, double click it, minus the mean, and then I need parentheses around that because that is the numerator, and divided by the unadjusted standard devi deviation because that's the um, population standard deviation, and then I can go down here and click compute. It's at the bottom here. Let's see if I can get to show that to you. It's down here, so it looks a little weird, but if we click compute, what it does is it creates a new column on our worksheet here and it gives the z-scores because that computed all that. So I'm just going to highlight this and copy it and bring it over here and paste it next to this data. There we go. Now this is not rounded off so you have to round it off to the nearest hundredth yourself. So 0.61, right? 1.54, 1.67, 1.02. So you actually have to round it off here, whereas Excel, you could tell them to round it off, but when you type in the answers, you actually have to round them off yourself. But at least it computed it for you and didn't have to do the work by the calculator. So that's how you figure out a z-score in uh, StatCrunch.